Not familiar with MIDI? Who cares? Grab a MIDI controller, download this template, and you'll be working with this Strymon pedals immediately. No setup required. Okay, so this is bank number seven of our Strymon template for the Bridge 6 and Bridge 4 MIDI controllers. Here we have, on switch one, an on-off bypass control. As you can see, that's bypassing the Iridium on and off. You press and hold that, sends you back to the main menu where you can choose the pedal. So we'll go back to Iridium. You can see in the FlexiPort modes here, FlexiPort 2 is set to MIDI out type A. That's going into the jack on the Iridium. And FlexiPort 1 is set to expression pedal. And as we move that pedal, you can see the graph moving on the screen there like that. Switches 3 and 6 are a linked scrolling pair. So they are sending program change messages over to the Iridium. And as we scroll through the presets, you can see over here our fave switch changes as it should and when we play the audio later you'll hear those presets change up the audio completely. Switch number five cycles through our bass, middle and treble knobs on the expression pedal. So that's set up as a sequential switch so each time you press that a message is sent to the expression pedal to target a specific message. So the expression pedal itself has three messages applied to it, one for each knob, and until you press this sequential switch to target a particular message, the expression pedal would actually control all three knobs, but we uh, use that to cycle through there. So you can play and adjust these three knobs with your feet. Super cool. And then on switch four we have another sequential switch which is cycling through the MIDI CC commands for this toggle switch, the round chime and punch amp settings. So as we scroll through those, it will change. Okay, let's turn on the audio and show you how this works. Okay, let's turn the Iridium off. So that's our raw signal coming through. That's our loop playing. And that's with the Iridium turned on. Let's adjust the room knob so you can hear the room sound. And now we can change the size between medium and small. You can hear the room size changing there. Now let's play with our EQ. So we're currently on bass. Mid. it up with some mids, cut the treble out, boost the treble, cut the mids, cut the bass, and that's what you got. And now we can balance that back out. Sounds a bit better. Now we can change the amp, let's switch to the punch around and now the EQ will respond differently as we punch it no pun intended now let's change through the presets no room sound on that one higher drive now I'll turn it off Now let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how that's all set up. Okay, so to start off with on our editor here, we're going to create from a template. And this is where we find the Strymon template that we've made up for the Bridge 6 or the Bridge 4. You can go into Bridge 6, Strymon, and it gives you a short description of how it works and which MIDI channels are set up for which pedals in case you want to just jump right in and use our template without changing anything. So that means you have to set your Iridium to MIDI channel 6 and uh, we'll just press create and bank 0 here or bank 1 is a menu and each of these switches has a go to bank message on it and it goes specifically to the bank that has all those controls set up. So, so bank 7 is our Iridium bank and you can see we've got all those things that are on the screen there. 
let's have a look at how the sequential steps are set up. We'll see we've got the switch set on sequential mode. We've just got the direction on forward and see it's set on repeat so it just cycles through no matter how many times we press the switch. And then in our sequential steps here you can see we've got chime, punch and round and I've gone into our device library to set the MIDI message for that one. So let's edit this step. I'll show you how we do that. Go into our device library, effects, Strymon, Iridium, and now let's go amp chime because that's what we're on and you can see it adds in the controller number and the value that you need to recall that and just change that channel to Iridium. And now we've got two of the same thing in that step but we'll just delete that one, save it, and that's how you set those up. Now, it's a little bit different for the expression pedal ones because as I said, they're all, the messages for the expression pedals are actually all over here in the bank settings. And uh, you can see here under expression pedal 1A, we have our three messages. Now, they are all the control change messages for the Iridium's three knobs for bass, middle and treble. So you can see here we've got control of 14, 15 and 16 with minimum 0, max 127. You can limit that range if you'd like to exclude some values that you know you don't like using ever at all. And so we've got these three here and so by default when you move that expression pedal it will send all three of these messages, but here's where the magic comes in. On this switch, we have another set of sequential steps. And you can see here we've got them labeled bass, mid, and treble. And instead of MIDI messages here, we're actually targeting the steps or the messages in that expression messages stack. So go smart message, choose the type go to expression step, um, that's expression pedal 1A and you can see the steps are actually set there. So we're going to be going to the base step on that one. On this one, it's going to step 2, message number 2. And on step 3, it's going to expression 1A, step 3. So as you cycle through those and our switch settings, we'll make sure it's set to repeat all so that we can just keep cycling through those three knobs as we play to adjust them. And then on our foot switch two, we have the room size. So if we go over to toggle on and off, we've got the controller 18, which sets the effects. Let's go into the device library here to show you. Strymon, Iridium, can see the room size large medium small so we set it as large that's value three and so we've got one and two which are small and medium so when it's toggled on it's bigger and when it's toggled off it's smaller that's how that's set up and then the scrolling switches so on our um, switch settings we've got scrolling linked for this one and that one goes forward and it's linked to foot switch 3 which we'll go see is the main foot switch and that's set to scrolling mode and that's set to reverse because we want that one I just wanted that one on the bottom to be going down through the values so we've set our limits to go through 1 and 27 but if we wanted to just limit that to 6 presets just change that to 5 and now it'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then back through to preset 0 again and you can check out the messages here that's in our scrolling stack. This is the message which the value will be incremented as it scrolls. So we're setting a program change on channel 6 and this is the number it starts at and which will be incremented when you press that scrolling switch. So we'll save that. Save and close. Send that to our device. That's all we've got time for today. We're going to take a look at a bunch of the other Strymon pedals in future videos, so stay tuned for that. But if you can't wait, dive into that template on our web editor because with the Bridge 6, you should just be able to figure that out really quickly. You plug that in, set the correct MIDI channel, and away you go. Can't wait to hear how you're using it. See you later.